好，第十二條呢，就有關於同卵相生嘅孖生仔啦，或者孖生女啦。咁樣呢，佢哋就由兩個唔同家庭呢收養咗。喎。咁佢哋各自成長咗之後啦，下面邊一句描述呢，係最能夠描述到佢哋係正確嘅。咁啊，先講答案先啦，就係、是、C， 佢哋嘅近視程度呢，可能不同嘅，因為啦，呢、这個係個環境因素影響啊。其實上年呢，都有類似嘅題目嘅，就係、是、講一個植物嘅高矮啊嘛。所有嘅變異呢。其實好大嘅程度都係受到基因控制嘅，但係與此同時咧，環境因素都係會參與喺其中，從而就令到我哋咧見到一個 normal 嘅 distribution， 亦即係一個 continuous variation 連續變異啦。而近視咧就係一個好典型嘅概念啦，係基於佢哋嘅生活習慣啦。咁可能有一個仔咧就成日掛住打機嘅，攣埋個頭咧去部遊戲機嗰處咧，就會搞到近視啦。類似嘅生活習慣啦。咁但係 A、B、D 點解會錯呢？ A 呢句之所以錯呢，係因為個耳珠問題嘅。嗱，我先用咗教學版去理解先。咁喺課堂上面呢，我相信呢老師有陣時教呢都係用呢個做簡單例子。Even 教科書都係咁樣講嘅。哦，有耳珠呢就係顯性，冇耳珠呢就係隱性。咁所以啦，既然啦，喂，大家都係同卵相生嘅，佢哋就個耳珠形狀應該要係一樣嘅，係咪？咁如果佢話你係 different shape 啊嘛，咁呢個咪錯囉，係咪啊？從教學版嘅理解呢，係咁樣去解釋嘅。OK。而呢句説話呢，兩 s 想講多少少。其實呢句説話本身自己都有問題嘅。根據多咗嘅基因研究啦，我哋發現啦，原來有冇耳珠呢？唔係一個不連續變異。原來有冇耳珠呢？係一個連續變異先真。但係呢個連續變異啦，你就會諗啦，嚇兩 s 原來有冇耳珠係連續變異？咁即係話，即使我哋係同卵相生，我哋個耳珠形狀或者我哋有冇耳珠，都應該係有機會唔同嘅喎。喂，咁呢句咪啱咗咯，係咪啊？咁但係啦，有一樣嘢要留意啦，連續變異咧係好受到環境因素影響嘅。但係相比起近視嚟計咧，有冇耳珠或者耳珠嗰個形狀如何咧，係冇咁受到環境嘅因素或者佢哋嘅生活模式所影響嘅。所以 A 咧仍然都係冇咁啱。而 B 啦，佢之所以錯呢，就話啦，同卵相生嘅細路哥呢，佢哋有一樣嘅手指毛喎、哦，咁佢都係錯，係因為啦，同卵相生嘅細路哥呢，都唔一定係有一模一樣嘅指紋嘅。嗱，呢一個呢，係你睇得太多電視劇呢所擁有嘅一個誤解嚟嘅。啊，好多人都有嘅其實，因為原來呢，即使你哋係同卵相生，同一個嘅基因，你哋嘅手指紋呢，係有啲分別嘅。原來呢。指紋嘅 pattern 咧，係喺個胎嘅頭幾個禮拜去發展嘅。咁但係啦，只要個子宮環境有些微不同嘅話啦，原來咧都會令到我哋嗰個手指紋咧可以好相近，但係一定唔係一模一樣嘅。但係相反有一樣嘢咧，想提嘅就係、是、同卵相生嘅小朋友，佢哋一定有一樣嘅 DNA fingerprint 就真，因為佢哋嘅基因係直頭一。模一樣啊嘛，係咪？而啲嘢錯呢，係因為佢話啦，呢一對嘅孖生仔呢，佢哋嘅雀斑數量呢係一樣喎。嗱，雀斑係咩嚟嘅先？雀斑呢，就喺我哋塊面呢，一啲細細粒嘅啡色嘅點點啊。咁其實啦，就係、是、因為我哋曬得太多呢，我哋個皮膚呢，有過量嘅黑色素嘅產生，呢、这個個雀斑點樣生成嘅？但係今次佢錯呢，就係、是、錯在於 same number， 其實佢唔應該 same number。其實佢應該係 different number 呢，佢就可以令到 option D 呢似係一個答案啦。因為啦，呢兩個人佢哋喺唔同家庭去長大，佢哋曬得多唔多太陽呢，其實都係佢哋嘅生活模式嚟㗎嘛。咁所以啦，佢哋係有機會呢，一個就成日出去玩下，曬下太陽啊，行山啊，游水啊。咁佢有機會呢，做唔好防曬嘅時候呢，就會多咗著斑喎。但另一個啦，就成日嚟屋企嘅啫，唔會曬太陽嘅，可能佢嘅皮膚咧，相對上就會白曬曬一啲啦。Question twelve is asking a pair of identical twins were adopted by two different families. After the twins grow up, which of the following description about them will most likely apply? So for this question, the critical concept is that all variations are largely dependent on the genetic factor. And the normal distribution of different characteristics reflected the influence of environmental factors. That's the continuous variation. For this question, the answer will be C. They will have different degree of short sightedness because for the short sightedness is really the continuous variation, and this continuous variation will largely affected by the lifestyles of themselves. For example, 
Uh, a boy, he always play the video games or read the books very, very closely. So that's why it will increase the chance of suffering from the short sightedness. Or the other one, uh, uh, he enjoys the environment so much. Uh, or even when he reads, he reads for 15 minutes and then take, he will take a rest. So it can also lower the chance of developing the short sightedness. So it's highly related on the lifestyle and the environmental factors, right? But what about A, B, D? Why they are wrong? Option A is wrong. They have different shape of earlobe. So first of all, for the earlobe, in the lesson, we always say that oh, the presence of earlobe is dominant characteristic and for absence of earlobe is the recessive characteristic. You also learn that the presence or absence of the earlobe is controlled by a pair of allele. So that's why if they are identical twins, they should have the same shape of earlobe, right? So that's something we learn from the education version. So that's why option A is wrong. And I would like to explain it in details. Actually, this statement itself is also a bit wrong. Because according to some genetic research, we know that the presence or the absence of earlobe actually it is not an example of this continuous variation. It should be a continuous variation. So you may say that oh, continuous variation, Mr. Leung. So I think that it's just like the short sightedness. It's also continuous variation, right? So that's why option A should be correct. But I can tell you, for the shape of the yellow, even it is a type of continuous variation. It is not greatly affected by the lifestyles, right? Compared with the short sightedness, which is greatly affected by the lifestyle, the reading style. So that's why option A is still wrong. And for option B, the identical twins have the same pattern of fingerprint is also wrong idea. It's because you may get this misconception from the TV drama. They always say that, oh, uh, the brother, okay, he killed someone and then try to set up his younger brother, something like this, because they are the identical twins and then they have the identical fingerprint. Actually, it's not that correct. Identical twins do not have identical fingerprint, even though the identical genes give them the very similar pattern. The fetus begin the developing of the fingerprint pattern in the early weeks of the pregnancy. And some difference in the womb environment, it may give the twins different but similar fingerprint. However, I would like to mention one thing. The identical twins, they should have the same pattern of DNA fingerprint because they are really genetically identical, right? And for option D, it's also wrong. They have the same number of freckles on their faces. So it's also the wrong concept. What is the freckles? Freckles, that's the overproduction of melanin. If you get a sun bath without protection, it can be a prolonged sun bath. It will make some small brown spots on your skin. Obviously, it should be a continuous variation and it's also greatly affected by your lifestyle. One boy, he loves the sun bath so much. But for the other boy, he stays at home for the whole day. So that's why no matter the skin color or the number of the freckles should be different.